Hello, this is Martin from Serenia and well, you're watching The Offering. So you're back touring North America, how is this time? Yeah, it's been really good. Uh, just touring with um, Red Signal and Valinor Excelsior and Dire Pearl on this run and uh, yeah, it's been a, been a great tour so far, a lot of fun, um, a lot of new cities this time that we didn't play on the, the previous tour and uh, yeah, so it's a uh, second time here in the States and within like a year, so yeah, we're happy to be back. Are you happy with the audience reception of the new songs? Ah, the new songs seem to be um, uh, liked very much. Uh, we always get a good response when we play play the new material. Uh, it's for me personally. It's also um, my uh, my favorite songs to play live. The new ones, they're kind of energetic and a bit more technical and more fun to play. So uh, and the audience seem to to like them a lot too. So that's that's cool. Do you have a favorite in particular? Um, I think maybe uh, Treasure and Treason from mm -hmm. the new album. It's, uh, it's a very cool vibe song, a little bit up-tempo, very energetic. Um, so um, that works uh, really good live, I think. So now that some time passed since the release of Team Days of Dolor, what are your thoughts and feelings about this album? Uh, in retrospect, I'm, I'm really happy with the album. Um, we did some changes with uh, the mixing and mastering process for this album, and I think that the production is uh, is really good. And um, so, the, um, in my personal opinion, the best production we had on an album. So, very very happy with that. And um, for our next album, we're uh, going to work with the same people again to to make sure that we can get a really really good production this time as well. And, uh, yeah, I mean, in general, I'm I'm quite quite happy with the with the album. Of course, when you release an album and a year or two pass by, you always come up with new ideas. Or maybe we should have done a little bit of this or that or whatever, you know. But that's just uh, just natural, I think. And uh, it's uh, when the album is ready, you need to to uh, to record it and, and release it. And, because you'll always get new ideas or whatever in the future, but yeah, in general, I'm very, very happy with it. And speaking about new ideas, you already started a pledge music campaign for the next album. What made you decide to do that? Um, I mean, uh, the, the whole record industry is, is changing a lot, um, especially over the last couple of years. And, um, you know, CDs don't sell uh, as much anymore as they used to do. Uh, record labels are also earning less money and so they have less money to give for the artists to record their albums and uh, the last thing that we wanted was to to lower the quality on our album so we decided okay it can be a cool thing to do another pledge campaign and the fans they can pre-order the album already and uh, along with a lot of other details and experiences and stuff and all the money that comes in will go into the, the production of the new album into uh, studios and uh, we're looking at bringing in some uh, guest musicians and the choir of course we bring on every album but we're gonna bring in a violin player and um, thinking about two uh, guest singers as well wow. stepping in and so we have a lot of a lot of ideas for the new album and um, this I think is a cool way for for the band and the fans to kind of cooperate with with the album you know and, and making it as good as possible so I mean, every everybody who is uh, participating in this pledge campaign is is, is directly helping us with uh, with a new album. So I'm sure it's it's going to be a be a really good one. The pledge campaign has been off to a very good start. A lot of fans have supported us already, and there's still a lot of time until the album release. It will be uh, 26th of October, so there is still time and. Uh, yeah, it's. Uh, I guess it's one of the new new things that is becoming more more and more common. You know, as a yeah. result of the whole industry changing a lot over the last over the last years. And um, yeah, I think it's a, it's a it's a cool concept. So would you use it again in the future? Um, 
most likely there's big possibilities for that, yeah. And we also, used, the first time we used it was to get over here to mm -hmm. uh, to, to tour, yeah. For European bands, it's um, quite difficult and, and very expensive, uh, only with, you know, costs of um, uh, visa permits and tax papers and uh, overseas flight, shipping equipment, all of that. It's like you already spend uh, like $10,000 before you even started the tour, you know, and it's it's uh, it's a lot of money and um, it makes it difficult for a lot of medium and, and smaller bands from Europe to come over here. So we thought, well, if, if we're going to make it happen, we have to we have to get some help at least this first time. And, and so we did, and it worked out. And the uh, visa um, working permits that we get is valid for one year. Mm -hmm. So we were able to to come over here two times on the same visa, which helped us a lot this time. So. Uh, yeah, it was, a, it was a good idea. Uh, that first campaign helped us come into the States twice, so uh, that was really good. It was We wouldn't be able to tour over here if, if it wasn't for the, the support from our fans. Yeah, it's really nice to see that there are so many people who love you, right? Yeah, yeah. It's Makes very, you feel good. Yeah, it's, it's, it's motivating, you know, knowing that there's a lot of people out there that appreciate the music and uh, is willing to help them. It's, it's a really cool thing and it's inspiring and makes you want to give more back to the fans as well, you know, and uh, giving 100% on, on stage every night. And um, even if you're feeling sick or, or whatever, you know, just keep on going. Right. So when can we expect the new album? Or do you have an idea? <clears throat> yeah, we um, the um, release date that we have set for now is uh, 26th of October. So uh, I think uh, right now everything is, is on schedule. So. Um, I think this will be the realistic release date. As uh, soon as we get back from this tour, we'll uh, go straight into the studios and start recording. And we'll be busy with the new album until uh, like the end of July. And it should be ready. Um, yeah, we just need to wait those extra months for label to do press and promotion and that kind of stuff, and printing and preparing everything for the release. And now that you have a stable lineup uh, and you sing, that is been easier working on the new album. Yeah, everything is easier now. Absolutely, uh, the lineup is working really, uh, really good. And uh, we had a lot of problems in the past with that. We were not able to tour at all as much as we wanted to, and it was kind of frustrating and demotivating for the whole band not being able to do what you want to do and really love to do, which is you know work with music, play and tour and do albums. And so yeah, ev everybody now is really happy with the situation in the band. It's Everything is stable and um, everybody is into touring and playing. And so it feels like we're all pulling in the same direction now with the band. So you, you've been already writing the new songs, uh, they're already done. Yeah, the new songs are already done, yeah. So it's... Uh, just start the recording process as soon as we get home. Do you have other touring plans before going to studio? Uh, no, we have a couple of festivals this summer that we will do in between all the studio work. And um, so I think our next uh, big tour will be, we'll start on the 26th of October when we release the album, we'll do a, a big uh, European tour. Okay. And then we'll continue. Uh, looking into other places as well as soon as the album is out we want to try to make a uh, tour as much as possible again in, in in every every place where we're able to get to so maybe you come back again after the release yeah hopefully yeah. i mean uh, the plan is is to try to come back here to the states in um, in spring next year mm -hmm. so we will do everything we can to make that happen. Um, so we'll see if it will be possible a third time. We definitely hope so. I mean, our, our goal is to try to come over here more often and, um, and tour more on a, on a regular basis. At this point of your career, what are your expectations for the future of the band? Um, I mean, we keep, keep on going as long as we're having fun, enjoying what we do, you know, and um, you know, I mean, music is is a really important part of um, of all our lives, from all the band members, and uh, it's what we really love to do. And, 
as long as it's possible to keep doing it and uh, as long as everybody is happy then we'll we'll keep on going for sure yeah okay good luck with everything then and thank you for the interview thank you very much